Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Kill this. Birdie num num. Hello. Birdie num num. Birdie num num. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another episode of the Birdie Num Num Podcast. I am trying video. This is an impromptu podcast recording at 10 p.m. because I have the house alone to myself because my wife is in Hong Kong and my mother has stepped out to go to Mudanahali where the Sai Baba Ashram is and she is hanging out there. So I got some time. So I'm so weird. I've never recorded this late. But Sanjay Monik Tala here. I am having a good week. I hope you are having a good week. Um, I was just taking a shower and I was thinking of you guys, um, actually, because, you know, you and I, we have a, we have a nice open dialogue on this podcast, um, on the Birdie Num Num podcast, every Tuesday and Friday, depending on the mood. Um, and I was thinking about something that as you get older, I feel less and less people do or consciously realize. And that is, as the title of the episode would have told you, um, learning to spend your money on the right things. And this is not going to be a podcast about don't spend your money drinking or don't spend your money on drugs. Um, this is literally as simple as, let me ask you guys a question, an honest, honest question. Mm. Has anyone done this because I've done this? Like I used to do a joke on stand up that I knew I was getting older um, because the other day I needed Adobe Photoshop uh, and I paid for it. You know what I mean? Like if you understand that joke, you might understand where I'm going because as you cross 25, as you cross 30, as you get older in this lovely, lovely life on this planet, which I think is called Prithvi in Hindi, I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, folks. Um, as you get older, you start to do, you start to hang on to habits from when you were younger, although you don't need to. And hell, forget you don't need to. You need to let go of those habits because that's how you end up becoming an adult and maximizing your time more effectively. Case in point, okay? I will happily buy my friends at bars a bunch of drinks, get caught up in the moment, whatever, and let go of 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 rupees. Oh, I haven't seen you in so long. This one's on me. All right, don't worry about it. Forget about it. You know, I'll get, I'll get you next time, guy I see every six years. You know, like, whatever. Um, like, I'll happily throw away money on that. Um, I'll happily, and I know this is wrong. My wife hates this too. But, like, if the rickshaw guy wants another 10, 20 bucks, take it, bro. You know, you got a tougher life than me. Go for it. Um, but I'll do all those things. The swiggy guy, I'm really hungry. Oh, you don't have change for 500. You got to go down and get another 40 bucks. Keep it, bro. Enjoy yourself. Swiggy, you're swiggy, whatever. Um, and I'll do all that stuff. But one thing I will not do is in order to save 100 rupees a month, even though I literally just threw away 3000 rupees on the weekend on God knows what, in order to save a thousand rupees a month, I will not upgrade my Google or my iOS storage and instead delete photo after photo after video after photo. Why? Why am I doing this? Like, why do you guys do this? And I know I think on Google, for the Android people, you might have indefinite storage. Although, who is honestly looking at nine petaflops, teraflops of blurry concert footage? I hate that. Has anybody ever gone back I went to the Coldplay concert. My brother took me two years ago, like third row. I don't know how um, he managed to swing that in San Diego. And I was about to re- take my phone out. And he was like, put that shit away. You can see it on YouTube later. There's 80,000 people behind us. And it was the best decision I think I've ever made. Because who watches their blurry concert footage ever again? Like who? So <laughs> taking it back to where I was going with this was... A lot of times, like, I I just think, no, there's no way I'm going to give them $1 a month, $2 a month, 100 rupees a month. That's going to add up. Um, Does your time not add up? Uh, Is your time not valuable, friends, over here on the Birdie Num Num podcast? Um, Like, do you not value your time? Like, it's such, like, I started doing this a year ago where finally I was like, well, it's in the cloud and the cloud ain't free. So I will happily pay the 100 rupees a month for extra ios or mac cloud storage and i will happily pay the extra 100 rupees a month for extra google storage i think i have 2 tb or 3 tb and you can share it because they have family plans um anybody listening you want to sponsor me with all that money you guys got um but and it's i've done all this and it's made my life so much easier dude number one because even if you want to delete something these apps make it really difficult dude like 
Apple, I don't know why they, I mean, I think I know why they do this, but all about usability, uh, you can sort by your biggest video. So if you quickly need to delete like 5GB off your phone, ideally you should be able to go to your video folder and sort by the largest videos and delete all that bullshit 4K footage you don't need. And by the way, just because something is in 4K does not mean it's good, okay? Um, <laughs> I hate when people are like, bro, it's in HD, it's in 4K. I don't care. It sucks or the content sucks. Um, But I'm going to get to that also, by the way. Uh, But I've done all this and it's made my life so much easier, you guys. And I highly recommend it, whether you're 18 or 20. Like as you get older, um, if you're 30 or 40, you have no excuse. Like why are you wasting your time sitting on your phone as, as you should decrease as you get older, by the way. But why are you wasting your time deleting inconsequential stuff when you could anyways have it backed up, have that peace of mind, have that time back for like a dollar a month? You throw away way more money on not taking your change. You throw away way more money on, you know, uh, extra stuff you don't need, buying food for friends, buying drinks for friends, having that extra beer for no reason. One thing that bugs me so much, and I know I might, I might piss some of you off by saying this, but in like middle class India, we we have this habit of just casually making it rain with the rupees, the rupees, the dollars, whatever. But you know, when we want our five bucks back from the maid, because she has to learn uh, the the value of honesty, even though you just flew business class, even though you weren't supposed to. But who cares? That's Infosys or Accenture's money, right? Um, like I hate it when people do that, and I I get it. There are crappy maids and lazy maids and lazy drivers, and vice versa, and lazy corporate people, and you know people who game the system. But I mean, I don't feel like that's like my mom does this, that quintessential old Deliite lady where she's like, no, I need my two rupees back. And I'm like, mom, let him have it. I don't want to sit here for another five minutes while the rickshaw guy goes to the cigarette guy to try to bake, break a 50 or whatever. I don't care. Let him keep the two bucks. It's not going to change anything. And I know some of you might be like, eh, Sanjay, you don't know. But come on, dude. Do you not value your time? Do you want to sit there deleting photo after photo after photo? Do you want to sit there like... It just, I feel as we get older, a lot of our a lot of our priorities are misplaced, and some of that is how you grow up. For example, as I approach seven minutes and thirty, it's going to be a short one, guys. I'm not going to go that long because um, I was thinking of you in the shower. Uh, <laughs> like when I was younger, and I think all kids take pride in this. Okay, this is a big reason I was on the Google ecosystem for a long time, and I refused to go to Apple, but now it's made my life so much easier. Um, is Like, when you're younger, and for those of you who are probably right now 30, 35, you grew up with, like, the MP3 downloading generation where you were like, whoa, music is free, and we don't have to buy CDs, and OMG, I don't even know if OMG was invented back then, OMG, oh my, oh my, (laughs) and so, like, that was was my friend's Janice, by the way, I know it's bad, Uh, so we grew up basically not paying for, not paying for music. We thought we were cool because we were hacking the system on Napster or Lamwire or Morpheus. Was there an app called Morpheus or Morbius or something? Um, and we did all that. And then when it came time to iTunes saying no buy a membership, or when it came time to like whatever, we would frantically like try to burn CDs and have them all handy and take pride in the fact that I will never pay a dollar for a song or I will never rent a movie when I can download it on this shitty 128 kbps connection, whatever that sound was. And it, it became kind of like a badge of honor that I will never buy a software for $99 when I can crack it and potentially download 19 viruses in the process because you're not that smart, Rohit, okay? It's so hard to torrent something, by the way. I rarely torrent, and I don't torrent anything, wink, wink, but I heard from a friend, wink, wink, that, uh, you know, Game of Thrones, wink, 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 um, you know, like these links are so hard to know what's happening, and obviously you'll find it eventually, but you might click, and I, do you need MacKeeper again, you know? And I, I, I kind of went through that myself. I was like, I don't want to pay for software. I'm not going to pay for storage. I can crack these movies. I can crack these songs. But you're spending like 19 hours trying to download something or trying to make something work when as you get older and you have that luxury, even when you're younger, you, instead of buying your friend that pointless drink and chasing a girl and getting rejected for the 19th time at 22 because you're nine guys in a bar, and I talk about that in other podcasts, don't do that. I've done it, though, but I mean, do it, but learn from it. Um, instead of buying that other Kingfisher beer on your credit card, you don't need 
spend that hundred rupees on that storage, okay? Or, dude, freaking um, this whole Adobe thing or whatever. Like now you can get Photoshop and all that stuff. It's made my life so much easier. Like once you accept, okay. Here's the thing. Also, another added benefit of when you actually pay for software is you actually feel like you need to start using it. You know what I mean? When you crack something, you don't have any attachment to it because you didn't buy it. Like I, like I bought this camera and then it sat around for freaking forever. But I bought it. Or this, is this Shams' camera? This is my camera. Yeah. So I bought this camera and, you know, because I bought it, I'm like, let me get some ROI on this thing. And the same thing if you buy Photoshop or you buy software or you use $2 a month of Google storage, you're going to start being responsible and you're going to value your time and you're going to have a way better go at it. I know it's kind of a, a weird thing to say, but just ask yourself literally for the cost of that extra dessert or the cost of that extra meal. Dude, in other uh, podcasts, I talked about Tinder. And one of the biggest Tinder secrets, the most undervalued technique on Tinder is pay the one, two, three dollars or 200 rupees a month, whatever it is for the premium, dude. They tell you who's matching with you. You're going to save doing this like all day because for guys, it's horrible and you're going to know right away and you're going to be able to maximize that for three bucks as opposed to getting one match out of 300 and then spending 3000 rupees on a shitty date with somebody you didn't even care about in the first place and you just went for practice. Yeah, I know. I know you do that. All right. Um, So learn to start spending your money wisely. Don't be afraid to reduce your expenditures in other areas. Like, you know, when, when people say spend money wisely, I don't think they mean spend less money. I think they mean just spend it in the right areas. And as you get older, you start to learn what those areas are because there's only one thing money can't buy, and that's time, folks. Ironically, right as my camera cut out because I can see it on the viewfinder. But yes, we are also out of time. But I must say, you know, like, please, if you take anything from this podcast, at the very least, upgrade your Google storage from 15 GB to the 100 GB or your iPhone or iOS storage to whatever the $1 a month, $5 a month. Stop using 19 Gmail accounts and making your life difficult and forgetting passwords and wasting your time. Value your time. I value your time and I value you. So I thank you for listening to the Birdie Num Num podcast. Please do like, rate, review. Please throw some reviews on Stitcher or iTunes. I could use them because the numbers are going up, but I would love to see some reviews, folks, uh, that will help us continue. And any ideas for the podcast, let me know. And ironically, I will upload this in a few weeks because I am out of storage on my podcast platform (laughs) and that renews in eight days. So I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Birdie num num. Birdie num num. Birdie num num.